sing us a song. <laughs> We have not vlogged in a little while, so we wanted to check in with you guys. Hopefully you can hear me. We are at one of our favorite restaurants, Black Canyon, going for a late dinner. It's about 9.30, I think, and this place closes at 10. So we said we're going to eat real quick and then, I guess, hang out for a little bit because Ryan was actually off today, and I go to work tomorrow. He goes back to work tomorrow, so we're just trying to take the best advantage of the night as we can. I know, right? You're growing your beard out. I can shave it. For work. When I first met Brian, he only had a goatee, and now he's got like the full beard. I remember when he was like deciding on if he was gonna do a beard or not, and then he finally grew it. Didn't I tell you I liked it? Well, what happened was I didn't get a cut for like a long time, and I was just all rough and struggly. And then my barber was like, Yo, I'm gonna try something with the beard. So all right, cool. And then I came home, and she was like, She liked it. Yeah, it looks yeah. really nice. Yeah. Really, Brian? I like this stuff to be organized. What can I say? So you're, you're sitting here organizing seasonings at well, 10 really, days. I was looking for some nutmeg, but I don't For see. what? Just in case I decide I want to make some French toast. Why would you make French? You just ate. I was talking about tomorrow for breakfast. We were just in the car talking about Aliyah and how crazy it is. Like, she would be my age just about, I think. Wouldn't she be my age? Yeah, because I was in college, I was the same age as her when, when she passed. So yeah, like, she would be my age if she was still alive, and it's so crazy, because I did not realize how much of her music I grew up on, how I know every one of her songs. Like, it's really crazy to think she's been gone that long. And she was such a success up until the point she passed. Like, she had multiple platinum albums, multiple hits with Timberland and Missy. She was just dope. Like, I can't say enough, I, I miss that girl. Miss her music. I wonder sometimes like if she was still out, what would she be like today? What would she be doing? Probably movies or something like that. But anyway, look at you. Hey, you gotta turn the bowls down. Okay, you guys remember we talked about the forks up, forks down. The bowls don't go down. The bowls need to be angled. Have you ever, have you ever watched a GE commercial for the dishwasher? They need to be turned. The sprayer sprays up. Okay. So if the sprayer is spraying up and the bowls are facing like this, how is the sprayer, the water going to get inside? Same with that. The same where it goes down, right? Okay, so let's do another bet, you guys. You still have a bit up from the other bet. So, do the bowls need to face down like this? No. Or do they sit up like that? Like Y'all let me know though in the comment section because I'm very interested to hear your perspective. This man seems to think that dishes can just magically clean themselves when they get in the dishwasher. <laughs> winning and always being right. And never paying up bets. <laughs> Whatever. We have an ice bath challenge still coming soon. Coming to a YouTube channel near you. <laughs> You did? Okay. Are you in the camera? I'm in the camera. Are you sure? I'm sure. Sing us a song. <laughs> Cause you know who's licking his. There you go. So in this video, we basically have wanted to kind of talk a little bit, well, I wanted to talk a little bit and get his perspective on all the YouTube couples that recently have been breaking up 
and there's been like a lot or if not breaking up they've had like serious drama in their life there was the couple the interracial couple recently where he posted that they're getting divorced and then she changed the whole channel name like immediately that was like a month ago then nikita and terrell that was another huge breakup i've been following them for a minute Crixus, we do not need you sniffing in the camera um but no that was another one nikita and terrell then one of my favorites had like some drama and she came out with like her song Dana and um, what's her husband's name? Um, I can't even think of it, but I'm a huge fan of them. Like honestly, with the exception of the first one who I did not follow, the other two I was subscribed or am subscribed to, well, Nikita and Terrell, I guess their channel's gone. But the third one with Dana and Amet, I think is how you say his name, I'm still subscribed to them. And it's just crazy because, you know what, there's even more. There's two Caucasian channels, Eric, and his girl, Eric Conover. When I first started following him, he had a girlfriend and then they broke up. And then, um, girlfriend versus boyfriend. That was another big breakup. Like, and that was right when I first really started getting into YouTube and I was following them and then they broke up. And her channel still has girlfriend versus boyfriend and his channel is like a whole his name or whatever but yeah it's like kind of crazy so anyway in the girlfriend vs boyfriend they just talked about like how they felt like youtube took over their relationship and it like messed their relationship up in so many words and i wonder like is youtube bad for couples and you know we've started our channel more as an outlet more as like a spinoff from my channel and a fun thing for us to do together but like i would never want something like this to like come between us so what is your thoughts because i know you you're not as into youtube as me but you still kind of see it you see the channels you see when i watch it so like what do you think do you think youtube could ever like break us up no i mean with youtube it's like the way you, you have, have a lot wait you have my lipstick on your lips okay <laughs> i mean it's like you have a lot of people where they start off maybe as a hobby and then it grows into something bigger so you're always recording the cameras always are on it's kind of like no privacy like you have to filter out what you want and then also youtube is also very demanding with your time when you're always recording editing of course you get better but still it takes time because as you get better and for some people it becomes their job and they upload every day every two days like it really you have to record that then you have to edit but not only that, for a lot of people, you turned into a star. Like, and YouTube has like its own crazy world where e somebody else can recognize you from YouTube, but not the rest of the world. It's not like being a music star, or superstar, or athlete. But then also with that, there it's comes like certain niches. There comes money, and there comes fame, and other things. And there's if you're not used to it it could really affect you like whether it's a guy or a girl because now you're making more money and for guys eh, some people might be like hitting up the inbox and exactly and girls see that and they see hey this guy has money eh, why not hit right. him up and some guys are willing to take that chance because they've never really been exposed to that so it's like kind of like real easy to get caught in that trap so like if you've never been there never had a taste of it so it's that that's just my right. personal opinion but yeah because it's kind of crazy like i think when i was watching um the video from girlfriend vs boyfriend and i cannot think of her name right now but she had posted a video basically saying like the demand of doing youtube and always having fresh content really was put a strain on their relationship and I thought about like the other day I wanted to do this video it was a no hands challenge and I was like trying to explain to Brian like what the challenge was about and he's just like because if you don't watch YouTube you'd be like what so I'm telling him about the challenge I sent a video and he was like why would you do that <laughs> and I was like because people like it and he was like like dude you're tripping and it was just funny because i was actually disappointed because i was like in the mood and i feel like with youtube you have to totally be in the mood to shoot and you can't just like jump into you have to be in the mood because if you're not it's going to come across on camera you'll be stale you know what i mean so i was disappointed he was just neutral because that's brian's pretty neutral all the time but 
I could see how if you're all like if you do it every day and you're always trying to come up with a storyline and have a you know good content good thumbnail title like there's so many elements you have to be considering that that could weigh on your relationship and like I would never want that for us but at the same time it's intriguing and for me it's a hobby that I really enjoy I've never really had a hobby that I enjoy so it's kind of neat to have one like I know you've always had DJing but for me it's you know it's kind of cool it's like it is like gambling too because with YouTube if you do things right you can hit and when you hit you get this like spin of that hit for a little while and then it dies down and then you feel the pressure of hitting again and I also think that's another reason why a lot of people go through this like YouTube depression as I call it where you see these big YouTubers go through this sadness and depression and you see these videos all the time and I think it's because of that withdrawal from the hit like when you start to decline and if that's all you're doing with your life is YouTube and then you hit and then you come you go through your down cycle you're gonna feel a way about that you know what I mean especially when that's tied to your you know income that you have for your house and everything like that so I don't know I think you have to be careful when you do YouTube but at the same time I think if you do it right it can be a lot of fun which is why like for our channel I'm trying not to like pressure it or anything like that just have fun Let with it, it. yeah when we feel like it if that makes sense but at the same time when we are in the mood I feel like our content is coming off really good and and very genuine so you know I enjoy it. I'm talking with my hands tonight <laughs> yeah but I don't know it is I will say though like when I was listening to the um, response video that the boyfriend the ex-boyfriend from boyfriend versus girlfriend gave and he did say something along the lines of like how YouTube did take away from their relationship and it I was like oh wow like you know let's just say things did start to move and it was working and we were like rolling with it I would never want that to happen you have to keep things into perspective because both of us have real jobs and for us it's a hobby it's something fun we like to connect with you guys who are on our channel you know and just like kick it and for us yeah I don't know if you guys like play games with your significant other this is kind of like sitting down and playing cards or something like that so so if you decide to start a YouTube channel with your significant other definitely make sure you keep it in perspective don't let it take over don't get too into it especially if you start to have some success with it like having success is great and I've experienced that on my channel at times you know you have your hills and you have your valleys but you just have to take it in stride because at the end of the day YouTube is not the end-all be-all even if you're up like this could go away at any time just like like what's that that site back in the day where you'd have your playlist your song would play when people come to your page myspace myspace just like myspace went away youtube could really go away at any time like honestly google has not made a profit from youtube to this day this is not a profitable venture for google like they're waiting for an opportunity in the future this is a play for them but if it doesn't work out, Google could end up getting rid of YouTube. So I think everybody just really should keep that in perspective and always have a plan B because you just never know. So I guess with that, I feel like I've talked a lot this video. It's all good. It's all good. That's his favorite line. <laughs> it's all good, which that should be our, our slogan on the way out. <laughs> no, but anyway, we appreciate you guys tuning in as always. We love you. And I guess thanks for sticking with us and we'll see you in our next video. Peace. Bye.